Willie and I are both firm believers and adherents to the theory that the writer is the, the key person. Uh, it, it, you, you, you must be on solid ground uh, with your script. Uh, and if you're not, you're in great trouble. After seven writers, uh, I don't think that either of us was completely satisfied with the script. But by this time, we had made expensive commitments with an all-star cast and a cameraman. Uh, we had financing from United Artists. So we got ourselves uh, we got ourselves painted into a corner where we were obliged to go ahead with a script that neither one of us was fully satisfied with. Um, and when you begin a picture and you're not fully satisfied with the script, you're on a kind of torture rack where you continue to work on the script as you go. And there are areas you're never quite satisfied with. I can remember one uh, day uh, out, I think, uh, near the town of Mojave, where we were reduced to, to this. There was a scene between uh, Carol Baker and Charlton Heston, and they were in some kind of, a, of an action situation uh, a roundup, breaking horses, I can't quite remember, but it involved uh, action and an argument between the two at the same time. The script didn't adequately cover the situation. I was not in the scene, but I was standing around, and Willie turned around to me and said, Greg, Greg, give me some lines for, for Charlton and for, for Carol Baker. So I was scribbling lines on a yellow legal pad, uh, such as, uh, uh, I, I can't remember, but uh, get out of my way, uh, take your hands off me, why don't you do it this way, I can't stand you any longer, I, whatever it was, such uh, 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 declamatory, uh, 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 excited uh, phrases. And I would see Willie get the yellow sheet of paper and cross out four or five of them and then say to, to uh, Carol Baker or to Heston, say this, try this. And that went on for an hour or two. And that's the kind of dreadful thing that can happen when you start a picture and you're not fully satisfied with the script. Willie and I were co-producers on that picture. My duties were in the office where a producer belongs, and uh, on the set, uh, Willie was the boss, and generally speaking, it worked just fine. But I don't think that I would do it again, because I think, perhaps in Willie's mind, more than in mine, uh, the lines of authority became crossed at times. There was never a moment when I was not uh, uh, pleased to get direction from Willie. That simply couldn't happen or a time when I resisted direction from Willie. I had too much confidence in him for that. But there were times when our troubles away from the camera, having to do with the budget, and having to do with this troublesome script, perhaps carried over, uh, particularly in Willie's mind, and he was not particularly happy with what he was filming and knew that the script ought to be better. So there, was, uh, there were times when things were a bit abrasive, uh, but we, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> did finally <clears throat> have a fight on the picture, uh, and it was a perfectly ridiculous thing, and I think it's because we were under pressure and because we were swimming upstream with the script the whole way. There was one scene involving Carol Baker and me. We were riding across the prairie in a buckboard and Chuck Connors and some other hearties came uh, galloping alongside, and since I was an effete Easterner, they were going to put me some, through some kind of chivalry initiation process by roughing me up. And there was some dialogue uh, that ensued. And when I saw the rushes, I was very unhappy with what I had done in the scene. I didn't like the camera angle. I didn't like the way I delivered my lines. In fact, I said, I said to, 
to Willie, Willie, will you please retake, retake this scene because I look like a cretin sitting there. And he said, uh, well, uh, we've got the buckboard, we've got the people, eventually we'll do it. Time went on, he didn't do it. And I sort of insisted, I said, Willie, I really can't have that in the picture. And uh, I got somewhat self-righteous and said, after all, I've worked on this thing for a year, we are co-producers, and I think you ought to let me do that little close-up over again. It would have taken one hour. Willie said, look, I'm directing this picture, and the chances are I won't even use that angle anyway, and I'm not going to do it over. So having lost perspective by that time, I walked off the set. And uh, I went home uh, in a state of righteous indignation. <laughs> and uh, that was before the day's work was over. Well, Willie was offended. Uh, one of his actors had walked off the set uh, before the day's work was finished. And uh, I really can't say that I blame him. I was one of his actors. Uh, happened to be co-producer, but at the moment, uh, I was an actor under his direction. Well, we didn't speak for the rest of the picture. It was near the end. Uh, I had four or five more days' work, and <laughs> I worked without the benefit of Willie's direction. He would direct Gene Simmons, or he would direct Chuck Heston, or Carol Baker. I was in the scene, <clears throat> but uh, uh, I was, but I wasn't. But I somehow coped with it and made out. And I was stubborn. Uh, I wanted that scene in the buckboard retaken. It was not retaken. Generally, we didn't have uh, arguments, certainly not on the set, regarding the interpretation of the scenes, except that one, and that was a beauty. Had we had a, a creative, imaginative, a strong-minded producer, I suppose uh, Willie had had very good experiences working with Sam Goldwyn. Uh, Sam Goldwyn wasn't around. He and I were the producers. Uh, had we had such a person, I'm sure we would have come up with a better picture and would have solved our script problems uh, more satisfactorily. But uh, it's probably well to remember that there are all sorts of producers. There are producers who are catalysts who get the ball rolling and raise the money and then get out of the way. And they're very useful producers. And then there are others who do have a story instinct and a talent for storytelling, an ability uh, at editing, at communicating with writers, at casting, at editing, and eventually at marketing and selling. So there are all kinds of producers. But uh, we could have used a strong, strong, creative, intelligent, brilliant producer on the big country. There's no doubt of that.